Hey guys and welcome back. It's been a while since I posted an update or actually maybe it's actually only been a few days but anyway um, I've been uh, focusing a little bit on the animations uh, um, where is it? Uh, these color animations and um, I wanted to show how they look now, well, now that I have uh, replaced them. So, uh, if we come into a first person here, uh, we can see that now the, the character is uh, having the hands on the gun, uh, both in one or the other uh, idle state, and also when he's moving. Actually, one little annoying thing I noticed is that because I played around with the finger uh, movements and uh, the hand placement and all that he's, he's making a little subtle change in the, the hands when he's changing pose this is well it's quite noticeable when he changes from this side uh, to the other side here um, but yeah that's a thing to remember next time I make uh, too many adjustments um, don't touch the fingers too much. Okay, so uh, the emerge is looking like this now. So uh, let's see if I can play that in slow motion. It's a little. Uh, he's he's losing the grip uh, on the gun both here and in the end, uh, which is kind of annoying. And uh, I haven't really figured out how to come around that. Um, so I guess I missed something in one of my animations, but uh, since I've spent plenty of time on this already, I'm not going to spend more time uh, for now. Uh, the last bit here is because probably because I activate the fabric node on the left hand uh, once I get to the idle state. Uh, I don't have the fabric node uh, enabled when I'm in, in cover mode. Um, so on, on the right side here. It looks like this. Okay, so I think it's well. It's okay for what I I'm playing around with here. Okay, so um, anyway, um, we also prepared some animations for. Um, when we are in cover, uh, like here, but right now he's not crouching at all. So that's one thing we could do in this episode. Um, so this is going to be a change inside the animation blueprint, I guess. Uh, I'll delete this and delete this. So this is. Uh, I, I'm, I'm actually just removing some stuff which I uh, modified a little bit off, uh, off screen, off video. Uh, this, um, I believe it's a macro, can aim, is not only uh, enabling the fabric node when we are in a normal state or when, when we are fully emerged. So that is just so that I don't uh, alter the left hand position uh, relative to the gun during other states here. So anyway, um, inside the anim graph, uh, let's zoom in on the locomotion. What? Oh, it's over here. Uh, all the spaghetti locomotion, I'm still not really, I haven't really figured out how to make this simpler. Uh, so anyway, um, so we have a we have the cover uh, cover uh, in unarmed state here, and we have the the armed state over here. So what we are missing is a transition going uh, from I see from the idle. Um, from the idle left or right with the rifle to a similar one where we are crouched. So uh, I haven't really 
found out where I want to put them. Um, I th the thing is, I actually also just realized that we are missing uh, one animation, of course. <laughs> um, because actually we are missing an animation. Uh, I just want to mention this. I'm not going to do it in this episode. But um, let's say I want, I'm having a, running around with the rifle here. And uh, I want to come into a crouch. So that's not, he's not going to be able to do that right now. Um, so while I'm just going to say, okay, I'm going to be able to just move in and into a crouch uh, mode and then that's going to be fine for now. Just because I don't want to waste too much time on that right now. So um, let's say we have, when we have a rifle here, uh, just like we can go into a crouch cover lift, then we also want to do that uh, with a rifle. So we want to add, um, let's see, one here, let's add a state. And call that uh, cover crouch starting to make these names a little bit shorter because I started out making them really long um, so I, that's something I'm also going to do in this video so cover crouch is, is the CC and um, this is going to be the left rifle and while I'm at it I'm going to rename this to because this is a, a standing uh, state some, uh, of some sort, so I'm going to call this cover standing and uh, or CS, I mean, and get rid of that cover standing right rifle and the same over here. Um, so this is just going to be cover standing left. And we can tell them apart because this has uh, the name rifle after. Um, so, go on. Go standing, um, right, and cover crouch, left. So let's uh, fill in some stuff in, in uh, let's take this one first. Um, cover left rifle. So we have our animations inside the cover folder here. And I have all the animations ready. So this is the idle uh, left and uh, this is the sneak left. So I just want to make a similar one as I did with the cover left rifle uh, blend space. So it's going to be a blend space. Uh, actually identical to this one so I guess you have done this one so it's starting at 0 and in here 120 I don't know why it's 120 I think I just picked it and uh, it has two states one is the idle and the other one is the walking and that's basically all it is so uh, I can just copy this one and I'm gonna call this um, cover crouch rifle bullshit no BS um, um, blend space so let's see um, cover crouch and it's gonna be the idle left here and it's going to be the sneak left here. And that's going to create this transition here. And while we're at it, let's also make the other one. So I'm going to duplicate the, uh, the cover right rifle blank space. Uh, duplicate that. Um, cover crouch. Crouch. Oh, I forgot the left here. 
cover crouch and left rifle and this is a cover crouch right rifle okay so this one is the opposite of the other it starts uh, with the walking to minus 120 and this one is just the idle state so in a similar fashion i'm gonna make uh, the cover crouch right idle here and sneak right rifle here All right, so those are the blend spaces. So let's go back inside the animation blueprint uh, on the graph and plug them in. So this one is going to be the CC left rifle, and it's going to take in the um, movement direction. And let's see, we want to be able to go in, into the left rifle, uh, cover crouch left rifle uh, state. Um, if we do have a weapon and uh, if we are in not in standing cover but in crouching cover. So I'm just going to copy this basically. This is going to be the easiest. Um, like that, and then change this from standing cover to crouching cover. Okay, and since we also want to be able to go, let's see, um, to go back again, um, we want to drag an arrow back again, and let's take a look at that. So it says if we enter the normal state. Um, actually, this should have said something about having a weapon also. I guess, uh, but I guess it's fine. Just gonna copy that one. Okay. So um, we can also, uh, when we are carrying a rifle and crouching, we can also go into the the left standing uh, state. So we also need a state going that that way. And now it starts to get a little bit cramped in here, if it's not already. Maybe I should uh, see if I can reposition this over here, maybe. Um, it's not like there's a really good spot for this. So, um, hmm. anyway. Um, If we take a look at this, it, it just checks if we change to crouching cover and we kind of want to do the same here when we uh, want to check if we can uh, stand up just uh, uh, differently. Um, so um, let's see, well basically we can say if we are in a, a left moving state and uh, we can make this check here, say uh, the state is going to change to um, the, the sta this, um, cover standing state if, um, if our movement state changes to standing cover. And that's going to change if our one of the line traces for the, uh, I think it's a chest or something, is missing. So, um, yeah. And Similarly, we want to have a one uh, arrow going back. Just copy pasting the same one over and over, actually. And this one is going to say if you are in crouching cover, and go back. So let's go ahead and test this out uh, first, and see if it works. So let's first of all see. Okay, so if we are, uh, um, let's see. Ah, okay. I need to. One moment. I want to do it from this side here. So, as we can see now, he can actually move into cover and he's going to walk around with the, the rifle. I don't have the right animation set up yet, but uh, this one is already uh, working. Um, so, from now on, it's actually just to continue um, making 
all these transitions. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna make this on video because it's just a repetition of all this stuff going over this. Um, so I will, however, uh, end this video with a few notes on this uh, cover system. Um, because um, I feel that the time has come to uh, say, okay, the basics of this is working and I have a pretty good understanding of how this uh, is going to work and uh, there are some flaws in it, uh, definitely. Uh, but in general, I think I've uh, figured out how uh, how I can um, uh, react, make my character react uh, according to the surroundings, which was uh, what all this started out with. Um, so my uh, thoughts are kind of moving towards something else for the next videos and actually I yeah I haven't really decided if I should uh, end this, um, this series here or maybe try and continue with it I haven't really decided yet but um, let me know what you guys think about it and uh, if you have any good ideas let me know um, I might be uh, interested in trying things out but right now I'm, I can't really come up with more new stuff for this except well a lot of obvious stuff but um, I, I might as well just do that in a, in a completely uh, separate um, series so okay yeah that's it for this video uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next bye bye